The fourth presentation I'll be talking about is an animated introduction to vibration analysis. So the idea is if you want to learn how vibration analysis works, uh, what its benefits are, what the spectra, time waveforms, phase and these sorts of uh, technologies are all about, well this will be the place to learn about it. You know one of the little simulations we use which I'll just very quickly use, you know we can we can look at the vibration from the bearings, vibration from the shaft and any unbalance that might occur there, vibration from a fan and you know I've color coded this vibration from green from the shaft, green sorry green from the bearing, grey from the shaft, orange from the fan but what happens is we um, we want to be able to split those sources of vibration up so that we end up with a spectrum and that's where the spectrum comes from and we can therefore relate any vibration for example from the, from the shaft to a peak in the spectrum, from the bearing to a peak and from the fan to a peak. So obviously we'll be going through all this sort of stuff in, in more detail. We'll be looking at different kinds of fault conditions and how they make the vibration change and therefore how the vibration analysts uh, detect these sorts of faults and lots more. We'll talk about uh, how you detect bearing faults as well using some of the special techniques designed to do that. You know whether it's a fault on the inner race or the outer race or the rolling elements themselves or the cage you know we can detect these these faults quite easily. Well quite easily. We can use time waveform analysis to learn all kinds of things that we don't learn in the spectrum. Uh, we'll also learn about phase. So you know if I've got some sort of vibration that's causing a motion like unbalance or misalignment that we saw earlier you can see the two sides moving up and down out of phase. We see a bent shaft, um, bent shaft again, cocked bearing, all of these fault conditions that you may detect with, uh, with spectrum analysis. The trouble is it's sometimes difficult to separate which fault it is. Phase analysis helps us do that. So we can either use single channel measurements to get phase or two channels. So we'll just, you know, as part of this presentation we'll explain time waveforms, phase, uh, spectrum analysis and some other technologies.